Mm. Not all of Adam's parts came for the scout. Everybody stay calm. What's the procedure, procedure everyone? everyone? What's the procedure? Stay calm. Wait, 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 wait. Everybody, your calm down. Everyone for himself. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. Get out of my way. Okay. Okay. Oh. All right. Part two of the scout revival. Adam's back. He brought some goodies from Rock Auto. You can have that. The real question I want to know is, did they give you your magnet? I saw the magnet. Oh, there it is. There it is. You want it? This is really the gem of them all. See, I've got a number of them over on the... With the Mazda. Yeah, you're a big Mazda fan, right? Some stuff. Oh, you know. Yeah, right. Anyway, you know what I never, we never checked last time, which we should check today? See if you've got oil pressure on the gauge. So let's try to fire it right now. Let's see if the oil pressure comes up. And then we'll put a new oil. You got a new oil filter. I've got oil for it. And let's see if there's a difference if the oil pressure comes up higher with new fresh oil versus flooded, nasty, gas, varnish smelling oil. That's bad. A little bit. But it, like we've said, it's just your car. What do we care? Yeah, I smell worse than that. So let's do it. <laughs> All right, let's see what the pressure is before. Give it the beans. Oh, it might help if I hook the battery. All right, hold for it. Head in the beans. Did your pressure come up? No. Nothing. That's a little scary. Let's try it again. Go ahead. Whoops, I killed it. Anything? Nothing. No beans. <laughs> One more time. Go for it. She did go up that time. Hey, all right. Not a good sign. All Hi, right. Brother. Go number four, if I remember right. That's go going up a little bit. A little bit. Oh, there it goes. its way up just a little bit kind of like when my snot rolls down my chin in the winter about as fast as it's going up well yeah came up came up cool all right, we've got oil pressure. Let's solve the oil, shall we? Here we go. It's an older engine. I'm gonna put some of this Lucas Wonder Juice in here. I don't know. It seemed to work out on my truck. So let's model it like Vanna White. Good job, Adam. Thank you. Look at that. it comes up like grease. Look at that. 
I gotta like push it. And We changed the oil with the thicker magic lube voodoo witchcraft stuff. We're gonna try it again. Hopefully the oil pressure comes up a little higher. So ready Adam? Ready. In the beans, brother. Hit in the beans. Battery disconnected or something? Try again. Wiggle this key. All right. Well, it doesn't want to start now. Adam broke it. You can see, look at the gauge. The amp's gauge goes down. Means your starter's probably dead. Let's give it a tap and see what happens. But, all right. We gave a little love tap with the starter. It started. Let me give it fuel. Let's try this. Again, go ahead, brother. Right again. Keep going. Might want to get that hammer out again. Like MC Hammer said, Dang. it's Stop. hammer time. All right. Did oil pressure come up? A little bit, but I mean. Good. Taping? Taping. All right, hold up. All right, give the beans. Give the beans. It's slowly making its way up. Yeah? Didn't get to the quarter mark by any means, but... Same as before? I don't even think it got that far, honestly. Mm. Let's try it one more time. Hold on. All right, go ahead. It's alive! It's alive! And now it's dead. Well, where'd it get to? Okay, so we know the starter, it seems like it has a dead spot all of a sudden. But when I was looking at it, you can see my uh, positive wire right here going down to it. As you can see my, this, see my fingers, see it? I can move that. That's obviously loose. That's a no-no. So, and let me look at this wire. It's been, it's, it's not even electrical tape or hockey tape. Oh, it might be electrical tape. This is wire's junk. We should probably replace this too. So I'm just guessing it's just a loose connection now. So that's better than a, pulling a starter out and replacing brushes on it. Let's go. Let's see what we can do. Okay, so I just tighten that up. That's good and tight now. And something fell over. Let's, uh, I'm just going to see if it turns over. I'm not going to obviously try to start it, start it, but. You want me to connect the battery then? Yeah, that might help. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that might help. You got it on there? It's on. All right, now let's try it.
I think that was a problem. Good. At least we got a win with that. All right. So the oil pressure didn't really come up much more from the old oil. So it is what it is. We're just going to run with it. Well, um, if it becomes more of an issue later, we deal with it. So he's, I mean, how many miles he got on this thing? What does it say? 93.5. Okay. So, I mean, she's, she got some miles on it for an older vehicle. So, uh, who knows how many times that's been rolled over because it stops. There is no. no yeah, no, I get it. So, so if it becomes an issue, we do bearings on it and just see what happens. So right now we just keep moving. We get it to run. Great. Let's put a thermostat in it. Let's do brakes and all that other stuff and keep trucking. Let's see what you got for brakes. Gentle. I can't get the drum off. These little tabs for the hubs, they're wider than, than the hole for the drum. <sighs> nice design, International. We finally got the drum off because of uh, those stupid tabs. It just took off half of them and just didn't work. So I can tell right now though, you're gonna need new shoes because that one's missing the top part of it right there. So what we'll have to do is, We'll measure the width of the shoe. You have a two inch wide shoe and it's for a, what size, 10 inch or 11 inch drum. It is the 10 inch drum. That's kind of a bummer. I think the 10 inch drums are more expensive. Of course they are. Your money, not mine. What do I care? Just kidding, brother. You wonder why I want to keep this bumper. Yeah. <laughs> so we might as well, we'll see what, wheel cylinders cost too i'm gonna guess and you're gonna need these are gonna be so old and brittle i'm not gonna let you ride on them and look at that look at that crack right there these are gonna be no good so you're gonna need new brake hoses as we take it apart all the brake lines are probably gonna fall apart too but we can put a brake line kit so but at least we now know what we need to order yay okay so this is where we sit we're gonna order some parts and hopefully they get here in a timely manner and just go from there. We'll probably start tackling the brakes a little more and um, a whole bunch of other things on this thing. So, I want to thank my brother again for letting me do some episodes on a scout. Adam, I really do appreciate it. Thank you, brother. Uh, thank you also to everyone else who's been supporting the channel. I really do appreciate that also. So, thank you. So, I think that's going to do it for this episode. If you could like and subscribe, once again, you'd be my hero. Thanks again. See you next time.